And we've got the Conservatives winning 204 seats. That's a 77 seat gain for them. The Liberals are in their second at 69, a drop of 87 seats with the Bloc at 43 and the New Democrats at 27 up three. So big story as a Conservative majority if the election were held today and voters vote the way they tell us in our polls. Pierre Polyev's Conservative Party are on track right now to win a bigger majority than Justin Trudeau's Liberals formed in 2015. New analysis from Abacus Data looked at over 3,000 Canadians and found not only would Conservatives win handily, they'd take seats the Liberals have held since 2015. It's really built around, you know, losing more than 20 or close to 20 seats in Atlantic Canada, 37 in Ontario and 15 in British Columbia. So in those core areas that you know, really helped the Liberals hang on to their minorities in the last two federal elections. They're seeing a big swing away from them and towards the Conservatives. Now we can understand uh, perhaps why the Liberals were so keen uh, to suspend the implementation of uh, the carbon tax on, on the home heating fuel. Political scientist Daniel Ballon from McGill says faced with such data, recent reports that liberal insiders are concerned about the leadership should come as no surprise. Justin Trudeau has dismissed suggestions that he'd step aside, even amid reports that some liberal MPs are unhappy with the party leader. It's not certain to me that uh, Trudeau's departure will necessarily uh, help uh, the, the liberals uh, at the next federal elections, because you look at the potential candidates and you have people like Mark Carney, who has no political experience, or people like, say, Christia Freeland, but um, is she really that strong at retail politics and so forth? So I think that uh, replacing Justin Trudeau might not be a silver bullet for the Liberals to fix their problem. The abacus data isn't alone. 338 Canada is also projecting a similar majority for the Conservatives, though not such a big loss for the Liberals. However, all of the data seems to be pointing in the same direction. But one thing is pretty clear in all of the polling we've seen, whether it's abacuses or others, is there's a desire for change. And right now people are looking at the Conservatives and saying, I think I'd go there if I had to vote today. The Liberals could still recover from this decline, the next federal election isn't required to happen until October 2025. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.